The grocery store cake challenge. Yesterday we're gonna take grocery store cakes and we're gonna turn it into this bomb wet end cake. I'm excited about this. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quality Pops. My name is Vera Wang. Let's get into the video. Now to start this grocery store wedding cake challenge, I'm starting with four grocery store cakes. Now if you remember in the first wedding cake challenge, I started with one $20 birthday cake, but to achieve the size of the wedding cake that I wanted, I ended up having to buy two of them. For this wedding cake, I decided to just start with $30, buy the right size cakes. That way I don't have to carve that much and I don't have a whole bunch of excess birthday cake lying around. I mean, it was good. I ate most of it, but look, gosh, the food coma was serious, you guys. So for the first layer, we got an Oreo cake that was $15. And for the second tier, I'm using three $5 birthday cakes. I'm adding a little bit of homemade buttercream onto the sides and just straighten it out with my cake smoothener, smoothen out in her. You guys told me that smoothen isn't a word, it's smooth, but that really hasn't stopped me, has it? <laughs> I still use that non-existent word. Now for this tier, I'm gonna be paneling some gold fondant, not really, it's just like a mustard brown. Paneling it onto the sides, and I tried to make this thin because there's gonna be more fondant going on. But I just wanted one layer of fondant underneath just to make it easier for me to panel all the other pieces of fondant on top. After I added my base fondant, I wet the entire surface with magic sauce and then I started to panel these roses on. I just made this with a fondant rose mold. Then I started to add some gold luster dust mixed with some magic sauce. This took forever. I had to get into the cracks. I missed some, but that's fine. You can't really see it on camera, so that's fine. <laughs> now because the first tier is so detailed, I wanted the second tier to be very simple. So I'm just paneling white fondant onto the sides. Then it was time to start painting my gold luster dust with some magic sauce. All the way around, I even did it on the seam so you can actually see it. I don't want to hide that baby, it looks so cool. I put that cake in the fridge and then on day two, it was time to stack. Oh, get it. I was listening to Beyonce as a gift. So we got the first tier. Oh, get it. Oh, you're having a good time, aren't you? Now I'm gonna need some support for the second tier. So I'm adding some bulbous straws as well as some icing. On goes the second tier. And then it was time to start adding some flowers. Now the reason I decided to do this the day after was because the day after I finished the cakes was the day after Valentine's Day. And I knew that if I waited, all the flowers I wanted would be discounted. <laughs> so we got some half price roses. We got some half price hydrangeas. I think that's what they're called. I don't know. I'm not a florist. You can actually tell that I'm not a florist because I'm like so scared that I don't know what I'm doing. Look at that face. <laughs> now for a few finishing touches, I add some gold luster dust to the ends of all of the roses. I added some flowers and some leaves to the bottom of the cake and voila, grocery store challenge wedding cake was complete. What do you think? I'm proud of it, man. Good job. I love the gold detail. I love how gaudy the bottom looks. This cake has got the mightiest touch, I'll tell you that. And when I cut into it, there's just some beautiful vanilla layers. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more. And I also want to know, if you are a cake decorator, how much would you charge for this cake? I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye.